What's up everybody and welcome to a new episode of Tesla Kid and Dad. Hey, I'm really glad you guys are joining us here today because we have so many things to talk about, so many great things to talk about when it comes to Tesla. Let's get to it. So the things I want to talk about here today include FSD reaction. That's right, full autonomy FSD beta is out in the United States and is blowing people's minds. We're going to talk about it a little bit. We're also going to talk about something that no one is actually talking about is Amazon teaming up with Tesla to bring us more security for our Tesla. And I also want to talk about the new Tesla Model 3 2021 refresh. I also have an extra little thing I want to talk about at the end, but stick around for that. And as always, as always, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button if you aren't already. Let's get to it. So the first thing is the FSD. Now, the new beta that Elon has been talking about is finally here, finally released to a very, very limited amount of people in the United States. And it's pretty wild. The car will drive pretty much on any street, lanes or no lanes, and finally turn at an intersection. Turn left, turn right, and I'm impressed. I am so impressed and I can't wait when uh, you know when it actually comes out here in Canada uh, because this is why you know I trusted Elon and I you know paid for full FSD hoping one day full autonomy would be a thing and this definitely puts a light at the end of the tunnel it actually gives you a glimpse of what is to come and that FSD might not be 10 years away like a lot of people are saying but more a couple years away and if you're Elon you're thinking next year but but we'll see all this to say I am impressed with what I've seen all right let's move on to the next object here which is the Tesla Model 3 2021 refresh now this includes a lot of different things and one of the things I've mentioned in all of my reviews losing regen in the winter and of course losing range in the winter and Tesla Model 3 has finally included like I was hoping they would a heat pump for future Tesla Model 3 owners which is fantastic now a heat pump of course will hopefully increase your range in the winter time and also increase regen when first getting into a cold car now a few other things I kind of want to talk about when it comes to the Tesla Model 3 refresh is the double pane window which will hopefully reduce cabin noise a lot of people complain about that so again Elon listening Tesla listening and hopefully reducing the noise we have when going on high speeds in the Tesla Model 3 as well as power trunk so this is something that was included in the Model Y from day one well now it's coming to the Tesla Model 3 now we also have heated steering wheel which a lot of people will be happy here in Canada the one thing that's a little bit controversial right now is for the new console, center console. Now let's talk about performance because guess what? They've just increased not only the range of the Tesla Model 3s, but also the acceleration of the Tesla Model 3. That's right. The new Tesla Model 3s will now go further and get there faster. So the long range dual motors is getting a 30 mile range increase to 353 miles. That's 568 kilometers. The standard range plus now has 263 miles, which is again 423 kilometers, which is about a 21 kilometer increase from before. The performance model now has a 315 miles which is 507 kilometers. That is all great news there. We are talking about more miles. Now, when it comes to the acceleration, the performance model is the one that really benefit from this refresh, going zero to 60 in 3.1 seconds. All right, so one of the last thing I wanna talk about is a partnership between Amazon and Tesla. Amazon, who owns Ring, is trying to get your car more secure. And the way it's gonna work with Tesla is you're going to want to purchase a hub, which apparently is gonna be around $200, at which point you'll then be able to live stream. That's right, this is something that a lot of people have been waiting for and asking for, so I'm a little surprised that no one's talking about this, 
but you'll be able to live stream the security cameras from your Tesla Model 3 or any Tesla for that matter. They're talking about the Tesla Model 3, Model S, Model X, and Model Y. So the whole fleet really when we're talking about not the old school Roadster. You'll be able to monitor your video footage from your phone remotely. Now this does mean that you'd have to pay a monthly fee, but the ability to actually monitor your car from anywhere in the world at any point in time is definitely something that I'm interested in. Let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in as well in the comments below. And if you find that $200 is a little too much for your taste. When it comes to peace of mind, again, that's something that I think I would be willing to purchase that for the ability to monitor my car, including getting notification if somebody tries to break into my car from my phone, be able to pull out my phone and look at what's happening. If it's just a dog walking by or if it's actually a person trying to break into my car, Battery day just passed. We're getting hopefully a $25,000 car in the next few years. Tons of more range is coming in the next few years. Model refresh, car keeps on getting better. New software update including FSD beta in the United States that is blowing people's mind. This is the autonomy version that everybody's been waiting for. When can we expect it in Canada? Who knows, weeks away? Okay, most likely months away. But hey, all that is pretty exciting. And I finally got the update. That's right, this is the last thing I want to talk about here today. My Tesla Model 3 here in Canada finally has the ability to read speed signs. So it's always been able to read them, but it's actually never done anything about it. And uh, it's actually never displayed inside the Tesla console on the screen. So you, you wouldn't actually see it on the screen. But now this is now available here in Canada and my car finally got that update a few weeks ago and I just wanted to pass it along. It has been working flawlessly for me. Uh, it's something I've been waiting for for quite a bit of time because I do a lot of autopilot around town and a lot of GPS speed were incorrect. So I could literally see my Tesla notice the sign, adjust the speed according to the sign instead of the GPS information that was incorrect. So that is a nice update. All right, as always, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you're as excited about where Tesla is going in the next few years as me, let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to hear any of your comments, concerns, questions. As always, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you're not. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And we'll catch you in the next episode.